The Barnes Tennis Center in Point Loma had just five weeks to organize and prepare the first ever Association of Tennis Professionals tourney in San Diego. From September 27th to October 3rd, tennis fans had the chance to see some of the best male tennis players in the world compete in the San Diego Open. For the sports community in San Diego, it's a big deal. Jack McGrory is the co-chair of the tournament and an avid tennis player. He tells us how the ATP finally selected San Diego to host an ATP tournament. When the Chinese uh, part of the tour got canceled because of the, the pandemic, um, they called us and said, will you please host an ATP tournament so we can keep the players working and, and earning prize money. And the ATP granted several um, one-year license to tournaments, and we were so fortunate to get one of those. Ryan Redondo is the Barnes Tennis Center general manager and San Diego Open tournament director. He says every seat is a good one. The courts. The weather, um, there is not one bad seat in this facility, so it's just gonna be awesome. This center court right now holds 2,000 people. Our second court will hold about 400. So uh, we, have, we have a lot of people that can come through. Youth Tennis San Diego owns and operates the center and is dedicated to promoting the development of all youth through organized tennis. Clinics for kids are scheduled throughout the tournament, and many of the young athletes will be sitting in the stands or serving as ball girls and boys. This is just going to inspire, motivate our youth um, for the tennis community to be able to have, again, players just feet away, you know, right in front of you to play. Um, I think it's going to be a huge ex just experience and just promote the game of tennis and our city. This men's professional tournament will feature a 28-player singles draw and a 16-team doubles draw. A total of $600,000 in prize money is up for grabs. You're going to have great food, a great atmosphere, music, uh, merchandise to buy, concessions, um, and great weather, San Diego. Hundreds of jobs were created to put on a tournament of this size, from construction to concessions. Plus, hundreds of volunteers are needed to help this tournament run smoothly. Besides creating jobs for the community, the tournament will help the local economy too. Hundreds of thousands of dollars are going to go into the, into the city just by bringing this one week tournament in. So it's a huge boost to the city. It's a huge boost to Point Loma, Ocean Beach, downtown. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's so positive for the city. Players set to appear include Andre Rublev, currently the number five player in the world. The big one is Andy Murray. Everybody's really excited about Andy. Uh, we, you know, multi Grand Slam champion, gold medalist. Um, so we're really looking forward to having him here. The talent is the best in the world. It's what you see on the U.S. Open. And all of these guys will be then going on to Indian Wells too. Three local tennis players will have the opportunity to play in front of a hometown crowd, including Brandon Nakashima, who's currently ranked 85th in the world. He hit some balls in the deck of the USS Midway to promote the San Diego Open and show the ATP support for the military community. To be able to come up here and, and even to hit some tennis balls up here, it's, uh, it's such a cool experience. The tournament will be having a Military Appreciation Day on September 29th. Nakashima is constantly traveling to different tennis tournaments all over the world. He's looking forward to sleeping in his own bed for a change. It's such a good feeling, um, you know, coming back home and, and being able to, to play a professional tournament close by uh, where I grew up and, and where I trained as a junior. It's, uh, it's really cool to see and, and it's, uh, it's going to be great to have all my, my family and friends uh, come out and support. The High Bluff Academy graduate plans on being a part of the youth clinics as much as he can. The tournament will feature two sessions a day. The day session starts at 11.30 a.m. and a night session starts at 5.30 p.m. Free shuttles are being provided from Liberty Station to the Barnes Tennis Center for both the day and night sessions. Masks are required on the shuttle, but not at the venue. Melissa May, KPBS News.